welcome to my channel. I'm Roseanne. For those of you that are here for the first time, welcome. I hope you like this video. And if you do, please like and subscribe and click the bell. I'd really appreciate that. Today, we're going to talk about packing for a cruise in Alaska. Now, I have never been on a cruise on the ocean. I mean, since, what, 40 years <laughs> But I am so excited to go on this Alaskan cruise. Now, I'm going in June, and I checked the weather in Alaska. It's going to be between you know, 40 degrees and 66 degrees. It's going to be something like that. And I, um, I'm a land travel gal. <laughs> I really, I've only been on one river cruise, which was amazing. And so now I'm going on an Alaskan cruise and I thought I could pack with you. And, um, you know, it's going to be a little bit different packing because I really like to pack light when I travel, but it just doesn't seem like I'm going to be able to pack light on this cruise because I really want to experience the whole cruise experience. And that means getting dressed up for dinner. And so I'm going to have to bring more pieces, but let's do it together. And I'd love to hear your feedback on what you think I am packing. So the very first thing that I did is I went onto the cruise line. I'm going on Holland America and I looked for their packing list to make sure I know what they recommend. And so there's going to be two formal nights of dinner. And while I'm not a formal gal, I am going to bring some dresses, two dresses, and then the rest of the dinner is a more dressy type of event, but more casual. So let's get started. And I would really love your feedback if there's anything you think I forgot or what I shouldn't bring or what your thoughts are. So let's go. So since I talked about the formal nights, I'll start with my dinnerware. And I found some really cute, inexpensive dresses on Amazon. So let me know what you think. So here is the first dress. And I found this on Amazon and I just thought it was darling. And it's lightweight, there's not a lot of material, but it's pretty enough to be formal. So I'm gonna wear this on one of the formal nights for dinner. So there are going to be two nights of formal dressing, like I said, but there's seven nights worth of dinners. So this will be my second formal night. And uh, this is a cute dress I found on Amazon that I thought was darling. And I am going to bring two dressy shoes since I have seven nights worth of um, clothes to wear. So those are the two dressy nights. And let me show you what I'm going to bring for those smart, casual evenings. So when I think of the smart, casual dinners, I have to remember that I'm going to be going two days before the cruise. And I'm going to have three days after the cruise that I'm going to be around. So I'm going to bring three different bottoms and then different tops that I can intermix for the whole trip. So I'm gonna be spending time in Vancouver and then I'll be spending time in the Denali forest. Those are two totally different types of clothing, but this is what I'm gonna bring. So, so this is one outfit that I'm gonna bring. This is, these are Palazzo pants and I can intermix any type of shirt with this. And then I'll show you the two other bottoms that I'm going to be bringing. Okay, here's another outfit. So just plain black pants that I could wear all the time. And those are always nice. And I can intermix all my shirts with the same pants. Those are always a great thing to bring. So like wherever you go, it's always nice to have a really comfortable staple black pant that you could wear with any of your shirts. And last, just a plain, simple black skirt that I could mix with different shirts. So all black bottoms, different shirts, and then I think I am set, more than set. I mean, really I could have been a little 
packed a little lighter, but let's see what happens when I actually start to pack everything in my suitcase and see if I could manage my suitcase because that's really important. Even if you pack a lot, you want to make sure that you can carry and take care of your own luggage. So I am going to go on to talk about the wilderness part of the trip and what I'm going to bring to make sure that I'm warm and I can explore. Okay, so now we are going to talk about what I'm going to bring for the daytime. Now there's a potential for getting wet, you're on the boat, there might be waves, be prepared for uh, seasickness, which I'm going to bring my wristbands and I'm going to bring stuff because I do get motion sickness. So I'm really hoping that those wristbands, they'll really be put to the test on this trip. But let me show you what I'm going to bring with the thought that I can get wet and then keeping in mind the packing list that Holland America recommends. First thing, I'm going to be wearing my wool shirts. These are one pair of pants. These are like little hiker pants, which are really comfortable and they're really nice. And these, if they got wet, they would dry fast. I have, of course, my handy dandy jeans that are really comfortable and I probably will wear those every day. And I also have these really great leggings that are fleece lined and they have a pocket. Now I don't get as cold as a lot of people so I need to bear that in mind because I kind of enjoy the cold weather but I want to be prepared just in case. So these are lightly lightly fleeced and they're really comfortable. And so those are the pants I think I'm going to bring because it gives me enough to change and let one dry if they happen to get wet. And for cold weather, you have to make sure you have a scarf. I'm going to bring two scarves and a shawl and I have wool socks. Oh, here's my, other, here's the other scarf that I'm going to bring. And I have wool socks that I got from Costco so many years ago and they're going to come in handy. I'm going to make sure I have some more long-sleeved, at least two more long-sleeved wool shirts with maybe a thermal underneath. Let me show you my cute shawl that I got in, um, in Peru. Now, this shawl can be used lots of different ways, but it'll be great for at nighttime, and it's a little bit different than black, to pop some color with all the black I'm bringing, so I'm really excited about this. Can't forget your down jacket. This one has a hood. Now, my trick with these hoods <laughs> is to wear a cap and then put this on. And that way, I have a shelf and I don't, I can see. <laughs> I think that's super important. Now, this is water resistant, but it's not waterproof. And we might need something that is waterproof. So, I have this. Uh, waterproof, lightweight jacket that I got from Viore. And I would, if it's raining, I could use this. And <laughs> here I am. What do you think? <laughs> but anyway, I want to make sure I'm prepared. So I have my coat. I have my pants. The other thing is they recommend you bring two pairs of waterproof hiking shoes. So I do have two pairs. I'll show those to you. So I have these two. They're both waterproof. And so if one gets really wet, I don't know, it just gives it an opportunity to dry. Plus I'm going to be in the forest as well. So I really want to make sure I have two really good supportive shoes that are going to be comfortable because I am going to be doing a lot of walking. And last but not least, well, I don't know if it's last but not least, don't forget we need hat just in case. A little hat just in case. Keep your head warm. Um, binoculars. I have these cool binoculars I'm going to bring. Uh, like I said before, I'm bringing my wristbands to make sure I don't get motion sickness. And um, I'm debating whether or not to bring a waterproof pair of boots. Um, I don't know if I'll have room for that. So the next step is putting everything in my suitcase and see if I can fit 
all of this stuff in my suitcase because my trip is in 15 days and I am pre-planning and I am making sure that I could fit everything. You know, as a side note, what I did before I came onto this video, and I really like doing this, is I tried on all the clothes before I showed you and before I'm going to pack. And the reason is because, you know, I have three or four different pair of black pants. Which ones are the ones that fit me the best now, that feel the most comfortable, that I want to bring on my trip? So I tried everything on really quickly to make sure those were the items I want to bring. So let's see if I can get them all in a suitcase. I'm sure it's going to be a suitcase and a small and a weekender bag. So let's see what I can do. And don't forget those packing cubes because those are going to be lifesavers. Okay, so I was able to pack all of my stuff, still have room for my toiletries. I will show that to you. But the thing that I will do now is my trips in 15 days. And so now everything is packed. I will just go through it again, add some things I might have forgotten, take some things out that I might not want, exchange it. But at least I have everything ready because in the next 15 days, I have a lot of stuff going on. So let me show you what my suitcase looks like. Okay, so... This is not a carry-on. This is a little bit bigger, but it's a really great lightweight suitcase. So in my weekender bag, I have two of my dressy shoes that I was going to bring. This one and this one. And then I have um, my scarves and my hat and all of that stuff in here because it's light. And I have my binoculars in here. And there's still plenty of room in here to pack because I don't have anything on the bot. I don't have anything on this bottom part. So I still have room in here. So let me show you my suitcase. And I am going to have to tweak it because I don't have my toiletries and things like that. But you can see with all that stuff I showed you, using, can you see? Yeah. Using the, using the compression bags really makes a difference. And I still have room in here because I am going to have to add another jacket because I'm going to be actually using one of my jackets. But I have all of my dressy uh, outfits in here. I have my jeans and my uh, shirts for the wilderness here. And I have my, I have another one that has my jackets in it as well. Let me go <laughs> over here. I have all of my shoes and my a lot of shoes. You can't forget to bring your flip-flops. Um, so anyway, and there's still plenty of room that I can add, like I said, my toiletries and my hair stuff. So I think I'm set. Thank you so much for packing with me and uh, making me do this ahead of time. Thank you so much for helping me pack and getting all of my stuff together. Now I'm nice and organized. And then you can see what to bring on a cruise if you ever decide to go on one. And I'm happy to help you with that. I plan cruises, I plan land vacation, I do it all. So have a really great day and you'll be hearing from me from Alaska. So have a great day. Ciao for now, bye.